my pet. Written by Adorable Sarah Sixteen. Has there ever been a time in your life where you have seen an animal in a shelter or wandering on the streets, and all you wanted to do was rescue them? How you wanted so badly to just scoop them up in your arms and take them home with you? I have only been in that situation once, and it wasn't over some random street mutt that had been kicked to the curb. No, my creature was far more magnificent than what the world allowed them to be. The first time I noticed my pet was on one of my afternoon strolls. I had not been paying too much attention as I tend to allow my mind to wander on my walks. When they caught my eye. Residing alone in the center of their pack was what I considered my little pet. It seemed as though that they had been placed uncomfortably in this position, for they stuck out from the group, as would a white tiger in a green and luscious jungle. I continued on my walk, but they remained in my mind long after I returned home. They seemed so lost, unwanted. Their sweet little face haunted my nightmares all throughout the night. The next day, I made the decision to search for them and see if I could give them a home. Over the course of a week, I proceeded to watch them on my walk waiting for a possible opening for me to directly make contact with them without being run off by their pack. While being patient, I read their body language, picking up that they did not seem to enjoy hanging around the people they were with. Oh? You thought I was talking about animals? Hmm. My apologies for the lack of important information, but no, my pet is human. Either way, that did not deter me from my plan, for a human could abandon another just as easily as they could an animal. This was what I didn't want to occur to my pet. Yet, without me, there is nothing preventing that from occurring. When the time is right, I will calmly walk up to them and introduce myself. Being the gentleman I am, I would try to make a conversation with them hopefully allowing them to open up a little to me. I would be in no rush and would enjoy hearing what their voice sounded like and learning of the thoughts that roamed in their mind. Nonetheless, I do not know if I would have this chance to speak with them again later, might their group try to prohibit another meeting between us. That is why I would come prepared with a small syringe containing a light sedative to quickly sedate my pet. I don't want them to put up a struggle as I take them home. They would just be hurting themselves. I would also like to note that I am not a pervert. I have no sexual attraction to them, though I fear that there are sickos in this world who would wish to violate their innocent body if no one has already. I say this because without an explanation, 
my discarding of their filthy, mocking clothes would betray me as a predator. They should not be ashamed of their own body and should proudly parade it around when they walked instead of avoiding anything that would draw attention towards their way. Back to being on track, they will undoubtedly panic when they regain their consciousness. It will be my job then to try and calm them down. It is not an easy task. But what else can I do? They are now my responsibility to tend to. I am their new master after all. Under my care, they will be protected from the demons of humanity who would rip them to shreds if they got a hold of them. In the beginning, they will fear me. I will be some kind of monster in their eyes. Someone who took them away from the life they were happy with. Their poor minds will make them think that the life they had before me was a good life. However, over time, they will slowly open up to me and ignore the misguided thoughts they had before. I will, day by day, make my way to their heart until they realize I did all of this for them. They'll appreciate my generosity and love me for taking them in. They will accept me as their master and never want to leave my side. I'll make sure of this even if I have to resort to manually subjecting them to a strong, hypnotic suggestion. I just want them to be mine for ever. Hmm, you look a little uncomfortable. Well, to be fair, this is a very disturbing topic to bring up in a conversation between two strangers. Yet, I feel that it is necessary for me to bring it up with you. You see, as I said before, my pet is not some random street mutt. They are much more to me than that, and I feel as though I should be able to discuss my plans with them directly. Oh, oh. Don't be scared, my friend. Over time, you'll see that I'm not that bad of a man. I would never even try to hurt you. See? You didn't even notice the little pinch of the syringe I just injected into you. I'm that cautious when it comes to you. Now, just relax and let the sedative take effect without putting up a fight. For today, you are now 